Okay, hello everybody. Oh my hey. god, it's a blitz. Oh my <laughs> god, it's a blitz. Well, it's not GG, but <laughs> it's, it's very, very, very bad for Bleeding Hippie. Um, Bleeding Hippie's got 1870 Nurgle, and Mike the Machine has 1780 Skaven. Um, Mike the Machine has chosen two Bloodweiser Babes as his inducements and has the rowdier team having two claw pommers um and has you know has four guard as well whereas hippie only has three guard uh only has one claw pommer but has a has a tackle pommer uh also mike machine has a dirty player and they've both got 13 men's and with me is artemis black hello hello and this is the champions cup Season 20 final. Nicely done. Saves me a job. <laughs> Don't have to say anything now. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, he did sell very deep, didn't he? Yeah, that's the thing. But it's still not good, though, is it? It's still not good for Hippie. <laughs> Frenzy. I like the frenzy claw palm. It's fine if you've got another one. <laughs> if it's not your if it's your only one, don't do that. <laughs> ah, it's not it's not terrible. But yeah. It's a bit risky with rats. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Gets away with one there, hippie. Also, by going with a with a pom, he's uh, he's blocked off the route round, hasn't he? Somewhat. Yeah, everyone everyone has to do a dodge now. Yeah, I didn't really particularly like that from my machine. I'm assuming he piled on for safety. Well, I think he thought he was going to get a removal, didn't he? And then he wouldn't have to, but he did block him. You, you know, it's fair. I don't know. It's fair enough, isn't it? and I don't really like it either, Jelly. Old, but if he blitzed with a normal claw pommer, then he might not have got the knockdown, did he? So this. Hmm, you know. <laughs> Proud or disgusted or absolutely fan absolutely fantastic. I'm happy for Hippie. Happy for Hippie. But he's got a very tough match on his hands. Uh, very tough. This is one, two, three, four, tough match. five, six, seven, eight, nine. Deserved a double one in a death there, didn't he? <laughs> <laughs> He kind of couldn't get there if he does the hard dodges with the uh, stripper. It was an opportunity to remove Hippie's best player, that's true. <laughs> Had to make sure. <laughs> wow, look at this, he's making three plus dodges the other way. Outrageous. Yeah, so I mean, he can make the three pluses with the stripper and get to the ball. Oh, God. One through tackle, though, innit? Yeah, the first one. Well, yeah, one, two, three. Yeah, it is. The first one's three plus naked, so. Oh, no, I can double GFI. You can double GFI instead. No, he needed. He didn't have to go through through tackle, I don't think. It doesn't matter. Yeah, it, the only way he could the double GFI is if he went straight diagonally. He could uh, He could have gone next to the ball. No, no, he, he could, because he only made one dodge. He could have made a 3 plus, 2 plus um, with dodge and double GFI'd, but um, didn't. <laughs> Doesn't mean it's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but that's that's not good, is it? That's not good for him and very good for Hippie. Yeah, that is uh, two gutters stuck on that beast. Mm -hmm. The bad thing is, of course, that it does strand the beast <laughs> somewhat. Yeah, he wants to clear the clear the tents, doesn't he? Having two string five tentacles is pretty good, isn't it, for locking down the gutters? The shadowing one's about to get three dice tackle pommed. <laughs> oh no, I'm surprised about that. Aren't you moving there first? I would have thought you would have uh, 
You would have hit him first. Oh, he's not going for that one. He's hitting the one that isn't locked down. Oh. And <laughs> instantly fucking him up. Yeah. Instant power lap all. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, so that's it. He wasn't going to blitz that one. But it makes it... No, I guess he's, he's got diamond tackle, hasn't he? Whoa. I would have at least blocked with the rotter first. Wow. This is dodgy, isn't it? I guess he's got edge five for the dodge. So it's just a three plus even against diamond tackle. <laughs> But uh, he's got shadow in as well, like get the runner. Oh shit, yeah. Oh yeah, I don't like not blitzing him then. That just dodges away. Dodges? Uh, shadow and fail! And, and rolls an 11 <laughs> for the shadow in. Get absolutely banged on. <laughs> I reckon Hippie didn't even notice that was shadow in. No, I, I didn't. Wow. Wow! <laughs> dice Lord Hippie, that is outrageous. Outrageous! At least three dice in first and see if you power him before moving the tentacles in and everything. But wow, that was really good. To be fair, I would have done the same as him if I hadn't seen I wouldn't have spot, spotted the shadowing and I would have just gone for the three plus dodge, I guess. <laughs> fair enough. I didn't really like standing up that guy, to be honest, but he did and got removed. But it used up his action, didn't it? And now all the gutter runners are on tentacles. Yep. <laughs> yeah, because he killed one. But that's why tentacles aren't very good. Oh, the beast is good against elves. <laughs> <laughs> I think maybe he stood him up so that there wasn't a free blitz on the beast. Yeah, maybe, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair, yeah, he kind of had to, didn't he? But now his beast is pretty fucked, isn't it? In terms of getting back into the action. It's just because they're the easiest to remove, right? Yeah, maybe just gonna dodge with a line or I'll go for a one dicer. I would like to point out that that uh, that guy just dodged from tentacles as well. To be fair with, <laughs> to make up for the uh, shadowing failure, yeah, <laughs> he true. just casually dodged away from strength five tentacles. True. He is just going for the one D. Oh, for her appearance! <laughs> Get banded on! <laughs> oh, wow. No way can he re-roll a foul appearance into a 1D, can he? No, no. way. Especially with only two re-rolls as well. Oh, man. I guess he didn't want to get his players killed, Wayne Fair. I guess it was a bit, a bit of protection, but then obviously if you're going to get a blitz it's pretty you don't want to be there do you foul appearance can be OP can't it there's a fail so now that that uh, that storm vermin's getting claw pommed isn't he interesting interestingly enough maybe on three dice in fact almost definitely on three dice <laughs> If Hippie's got anything about him at all, it's on three dice. Oh, no, Hippie. Terrible. Lucky. Guess a power anyway. Lucky Hippie. And a Kaz. Lucky Hippie. That is... That is... Uh, that was really poor, I think. That was... That was <laughs> Without that being was nasty. Pretty dirty, wasn't it? Without being nasty. You, you strength six blitzing him. It's his best player. He's got block. I think you got to make that three dice. Have to. Uh, yes, bleeding hippie did recover quite well from the blitz. Not, not really through bleeding hippie's actions. <laughs> <laughs> Mostly through just dice fucking him. <laughs> wow! Well, see, look, that guy's gone in there anyway. See, 
Um, I mean, okay, that's where he was standing, but do you know what I mean? <laughs> He's moved him around there. I don't think he should activate the beast. <laughs> no, he definitely should not. <laughs> yeah, I think that was it. I think it was... Ooh, that is not a cage corner. No. Nope. Okay. And well, that was a GFI. I think I would have made a... See, what, what we've got here is the lesser scene, non-cage, against Skaven, which is... <laughs> Not something I recommend. I mean, okay, it was a lot of dodges and everything to get around and hit on the ball, but he <laughs> could have done it. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. What is going on? Why wasn't it three dice? Because he, he didn't get the, he needed to get an assist in to make it three dice because he's strength four, five from horn, six from the beast. So he should have got an extra one in to make it strength seven and three dice. But I think that, I think that was a bad mistake by uh, Hippie. But got away with it. Tentacles finally held somebody. Happy days. Yeah. Third effort. Held the wrong one though, because he could have could have surfed. Well, I mean, you know, if they'd been round the other way, then that would have gone. Oh, he's getting surfed anyway, isn't he? This one. He's just stood up. Oh man. A surfed gutter. Do you surf the gutter or do you claw on the claw on? I guess you claw on the claw on. I think I'd surf the gutter. I think I'd claw on the claw on. Well, you block the gutter first and see if you power him anyway, and then if you yeah, power him, then, yeah. then you call upon the gutter. Then your decision's being made for you, then. <laughs> I think you can lock down the claw palmer, is the thing. Hmm. I don't know, it's, yeah, it's looking bad, isn't it? The, uh, the tentacles are... It's looking pretty bad for Micro Machine. Set up too deep, didn't he? I think that's it. <laughs> yeah. Set up too deep, then Hippie's made two cars on two blocks. And to be fair, he's been able to hit prime players because of the blitz. So and he didn't go for the ball. He had the opportunity to try and catch the ball on that gutter, and he didn't even didn't even go for it. And set up his gutters one square apart so they could both be tagged. Yeah, yeah. I don't think it was. I don't think Mike Machine played the blitz very well. be fair. Oh. Well, that, we that puts a spam in the works for Hippie, doesn't it? Because now, everything here becomes a lot riskier. Though. Making the irrelevant blocks first. <laughs> <laughs> Not looking so good for him now. And uh, now he's down to one reroll. Yep. Thanks to yep. him. Thanks to him dropping two of his four. Yeah. Gets the power the game. Whistle. And the AV break again. <laughs> <laughs> And the removal. <laughs> Does he pile on? No. no. No, fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah, if he'd set up normally it would have been it would have probably been curtains for Hippie then. <laughs> I think that claw palmer has taken three blitzes, got three pows, got two Kazes and a KO. That is exactly what he's got, yes. I said he like from three blitzes. <laughs> three two dice blitzes as well. Yeah, not bad. Not a bad return. But it's it's Mike's fault that he let him hit a good player, isn't it? But then he went for the blitz, so but still. Yeah, I think that was the that was my the thinking behind he should have gone for the ball, because it dictates the blitz, doesn't it? It definitely is gonna be that guy. <laughs> yeah. Like you didn't have to pile on then. Because you, you knew that they weren't going to blitz your claw palmer because you might have the ball. Yeah. Yeah, I think it was just a bad... Bad setup and a bad turn from Mike, to be honest. If he if he positioned better... Um, then... Yeah. <laughs> he might have done better. 
Might be able to surf the sidestepper now. Old hippie. There we go, Don. I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind going for the surf on the sidestepper. The bad thing is that it, may, it means activating the beast, but he's got nobody else standing up, so I might as well fucking go for the surf. <laughs> now he's just going for the claw pump. Smash. Oh! <laughs> he would have got the beast. surf. Had he gone for it? I'm not certain I like that square. I don't know. I think it's, he doesn't want to get surfed, does he? And this makes it... I would have accepted another hit, I think. <laughs> Gone really? north. Yeah. Why? Because uh, otherwise he's just going to get jammed into the side by the beast. But now he can Now he can uh, try to dodge out. If, he, if he'd gone further... Oh, yeah, I guess... I don't know. You don't want to get three dice by a mighty blow, though, do you? No, the the warrior was the one hitting him. That that skillless warrior, if he'd gone north. All right, north. Yeah. Well, he could, could he? Yeah, that was one of the options. He could have gone where the uh, tackle palmer is currently standing. Could he? Uh... Don't like you don't like moving him there, giving him a way out for that little wrestler. No up oh, tentacles. Surely he's gotta surf him now. But now it's harder to get around the back, isn't it? Does Mike even bother standing anyone else up? <laughs> Maybe not. No, maybe just lie down and wait for the second half. It's got no, to surf. There we go. Come on. Come on, hippie. Don't disappoint us. It's easy. <laughs> Isn't it? Absolutely easy. Yeah, he's doing it. He's doing it. Good lad. That's not too many men at all. Oh, wow. Didn't surf him. What a weirdo. Why? What? what? Eh? <laughs> eh? What did he just do? <laughs> eh? Did he forget? <laughs> did he forget that last square? He must have done, wasn't he? They're probably, he's probably laughing in chat now with Mike yeah. saying, what the fuck have I just done? <laughs> Yeah, but he could have just served that hit, Elmi. There was no reason to make an extra hit. He can, he can GFI in here and do it again. Yeah. There <laughs> you go. Roll a one. Deserve death for that rotter. No. <laughs> the two SPPs, though, yeah. True, it's probably, to be honest, it's probably better to get a claw palm hit than a surf, isn't it? If it? In terms of causing damage. A claw palm knockdown is probably does more damage than a straight injury roll. I don't know the stats on that. But you're probably more likely to Kaz with a, uh, with a claw palm hit, a claw palm knockdown, than, a, than just a straight injury roll. <laughs> yeah, Anders. <laughs> <laughs> it is, isn't it? That's the thing with Blood Bowl. It's like it's pretty random, isn't it? And uh, and there's no professional Blood Bowl players, is there? So you can't expect people to be perfect. And even things where there are professionals, they're not perfect, are they? Look at this. Yeah. There are now two rats up there. Yeah. Ah, oh, boo! Tentacles didn't fail. Is he gonna try them all? He gets surfed with the stripper if he fails. Yeah. 
goes for a three dice uphill <laughs> and doesn't get a skull. What a dirty Dino. He's got to take the ball down, hasn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah he, he got a... the rest ball, but still, that was pretty close. Yeah, that was nice, though. It stops him getting surfed, doesn't it? That's, uh, that was a and nice almost move. Surfed for... if that, was, that one dice was one better, he'd have surfed him. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. To be fair, if it was one worse, he might have died as well. So. Yeah. <laughs> still funny, though. I like it. Yeah, it was good. It was a good effort. It was a good effort. Yeah, get him out of there now, me. Panic. That's who's playing. <laughs> He's going to blitz with the ball carrier, yeah? Yeah. And it'd be a fun double skulls. Well, quad skulls. <laughs> well, the, <laughs> just Dubs eating his last reroll would be funny. Yeah. <laughs> Two more turns to survive. Yeah. I think he should have put him in the wrong square, didn't he? He should have had him one to the right to make that a four plus dodge. Yeah, yeah, he hasn't uh, he hasn't covered that dodge out. Fouls the sidestepper. Gets a oh. Kaz! Oh, 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 the God. dirty looker hippie. Not even a dirty player. Gets a straight Kaz. Ducky foul. See you later. <laughs> this is, this, it is so dirty, isn't it, now? Yeah, that's pretty pretty good from Dice Lord Hippie. <laughs> He's halfway there. On. Full pow Kaz, just for fun. <laughs> oh, boo. Rolling a three on the dodge would be fun. To make Hippie feel bad. No, he rolled a five anyway. Wouldn't have mattered. Hey. Oh. <laughs> because he blitzed, <laughs> because he blitzed with that one and not the other one, he gets KO'd. <laughs> and surfed. <laughs> oh, mean. <laughs> well, that's that's Mike's fault for blitzing with a with a non-block, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know. I said I think it's the it's it's the probably the safe play because he makes him stay tagged. Not that it does a lot, but does something. <laughs> but yeah, that sucked. <laughs> oh, greedy hippie going for the surf. Falls over. I think. Yeah, I think he's got to reroll this, hasn't he? He's only got one more turn left. Oh. If he rolls a double skull now. Wasn't a double one. On the GFI. <laughs> I like the way we're all like, come on, hippie, get diced. <laughs> oh, he's not, he's not going for the, uh, he's not going for the surf anymore. <laughs> <laughs> they do not have a really good uh, one turn and no donkey dragon. Um, they do not have a, re they don't have like a, a really good one turn. Um, of course, being Skaven, they've got a bit of a one-turner. And not like that, I would have uh, caged him with this this guy up here. I guess I can do it there. It doesn't matter, does it? That's probably better. It's probably better than what I would have done there. Don't know, though. This is a 3-4-3. Three, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Mmm. One dice, get a pow. You never know. Yeah, Blitz with a Rotter, yeah. Good point. Good point, Blitz with a Rotter there, and then if he won in nine, obviously one in nine is bad. <laughs> but not that much worse than one in nine with a ball carrier, and one in 36 would have ruined him. Yeah. What did he follow up for there? I don't know. I don't know why he Blitzed, to be honest. <laughs> he Blitzed, followed up, and they made a five plus dodge. Yeah, I don't know. I was. <laughs> That's gonna need some explaining after the match. <laughs> the fuck was that? I don't know. That was bizarre. <laughs> he wants to dodge and knock himself out. Yeah. 
less injury chance than getting three DC. But yeah, he wouldn't pull many of the hoodie with not having any rerolls. Maybe he would have three D'd him. Yeah, fair enough. I don't know. Would you? Right, so here's the one turn chance, but yeah, he's only got movement nine and sidestep. And obviously Hippie's got foul appearance, not foul appearance, disturbing presences to stack up near the LOS. So it's going to be tricky for Mike the Machine. Um, it's not going well for Mike. Yeah, let's go with that. Uh, he got a blitz, did not play it particularly well. I think that uh, Jim and I are in agreement. And then uh, Hippie rolled a bunch of good dice and fucked him. <laughs> Hippie's first three blitzes were Kaz, Kaz, KO. <laughs> yeah, on quality players as well, wasn't it? That was yeah, the, on, that was on a gutter and uh, both of his claw palmers. <laughs> yeah, Ali, Ali's pretty good. Mike got a blitz on the kickoff and hasn't recovered from it. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> yeah, I like that, Ali. Well done. Yeah, bad setup as well, wasn't it, from Mike, I think. Everyone, everyone seemed to agree with it. it was a, a very strange yeah. setup. I don't like setting up deep. It's a thing that some rat coaches do. I don't like it. At least he didn't set up as deep as that game with like I, I laughed at in the last uh, in the fake cross platform cup, where Wraith Lord set up eight squares deep. <laughs> Fucking bizarre that was. He was practically in his own end zone. Yeah, that was bizarre. For the start of the match, like just for no fucking re against lizards, <laughs> it's <just> so weird. <laughs> Good old jelly. -o. <laughs> yeah, you, I think it's fair to say that Mike's probably kicking himself that he played too safe in the setup, and it's, it's just been fucked because of it ever since. Yeah, and then played played risky with a blitz without really achieving anything, didn't he? That was the thing. It didn't. Yeah, he, I mean, he kind of just went like half in, like he went for the blitz, but then didn't go for the ball. Yeah, yeah, he did a Tyrion. He half mansed it. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, he exposed all his good players without really pressuring the ball or pressuring, you know, doing anything, did he? Yes, this is doable. This you can hit yeah. the um, the warrior, just hit the warrior, and then blitz in on the rotter. Yeah, I don't like Hippie uh, stacking all of his disturbed presence on the wrong side. He should have had one here, shouldn't he? For sure. This is just. You know, not bad from Hippie, really. Without being rude, uh, he put, basically put the rotter in the wrong square, didn't he? For the for this setup, or or he's put the tentacles, and he should have had that tentacles over here. If that tentacles had been over there, it'd been a lot better. Uh, yeah, it's you can get it in one DP catch. Yeah, that's that's pretty bad from Hippie. Yeah, the strength five tentacles would probably be better where that middle rotter is. Like the one on his own that's going to end up with a gutter runner standing next to him. He did rep, but he, he could have just blitzed it, but just chose not to. So it wasn't that good, was it? <laughs> I think you should have tagged the tackler with a line for sure. <laughs> yes, yep, yep. Yep, yep's reminding me that... Uh, one of the things I always get most amused at when playing random CCL games are uh, new players' crazy random symbol setups that they've just decided make sense. Yeah. 
Pippi did make a 1-9 in nine dodge with a 1-9 in nine to lose the game completely. Well, no, he had to do it, though, in fair. If he doesn't do that, then he can't protect the ball and everything, can he? So, you know, it's... I think it's fine making those kind of plays when it's your only chance. <laughs> I still, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna. If Hippie claims that he knew that rat had shadow in, I'm calling bollocks. Oh yeah, yeah. I think, I think it was okay only against Diamond Tackle. It's not so bad, but with shadowing, he should have absolutely blitzed that guy, hundred percent. Yes, his push. Yeah, this is bad from Hippie. Bad setup from Hippie. This very bad. I think really very bad. That's, there's no excuse when you've got all that disturbing presence to put it all over that one side. Is uh, poor. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, Ooh get the push. It. the ball oh crap the ball's all the way back there why isn't one of those gutters further back yeah that's that's poor isn't it poor from Mike the machine probably should have had them both further back and uh, on either side should have made that three that was oh. terrible <laughs> Terrible. Why? Why do that? He's three. He's three, four, five, six, six. Three, four, five, six, and he doesn't make it three dice. That's shit. That is just literally shit. He just needed to move that last guy back one diagonally one. Yeah, that's just literal shit. <laughs> shit play from Mike the Machine. Sorry, sorry if nope. I'm causing any offence, but that was absolute shit. <laughs> I'm totally shit. on board with yeah. That, that is three, four, five, six. <laughs> And one in would be seven. That would be a three dice hit. He needs one push. <laughs> wow. Wow. See, I made all the fun of the like console playoffs. And then these two really good coaches come along. <laughs> <laughs> come on, guys. Yeah, I know the idea was to do that, but he could have put in the gutter there anyway. He could have at least put in this gutter, but then I guess he would do the handoff to him or something. Now, I think once you use the reroll, you don't... You go for the three dice and just give it a go. Yeah. I know he could have sidestepped here and then block and then sidestep to there. But... No. <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> right. Well. Hippie gets away, I think, with his uh with his not very good setup. <laughs> Thanks to that. Yeah. Thanks Weird kickoffs, that. didn't they? Bad blitz from Mike, bad setup from Hippie. Yep. Yeah, tension, playoff nerves, isn't it? That's it, you know? You get playoff nerves with pro sportsmen, don't you? So you're going to get it with uh, people playing a video game in their spare time. <laughs> um, It's not like this 250 euros is a lot to like rest on a two hour game, or well, hour and a half game. Yeah, yeah, 500 euros for the winner, isn't it? So, and two, 250 for second. So it's. Yeah. It's the highest stakes Blood Bowl has ever been played for, apart from the World Cup. Pretty isn't much, it? yeah. I doubt, I doubt there's been anything more than 250 euros resting on a game. Yeah. Well, apart from the World Cups. Oh yeah, except for those, yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. Forgot yeah. about those. Yeah, but apart apart from that, it's uh, it is the the second the <laughs> the second on the scale of stakes, isn't it? I mean, you can argue that there's more prestige in in tabletop tournaments and stuff, but they ain't got the prize money, have they? No, and nobody gives a fuck about prestige. <laughs> <laughs> You're never going to impress your Tinder date with that, are you? <laughs> you never know. There's some people on Fumble who I could see them mentioning it. <laughs> oh, 
I've won 42 Royal Rookie Rumbles on for more. <laughs> All them with dwarves. And then she just stands up, throws the drink in his face and says, you could have used a real team, not fucking dwarves. <laughs> Whereas uh, I just won 500 euros, well, where do you want to go, is actually a quite a good <laughs> yeah. job line. Yeah, it's not bad. <laughs> I've just won the, the like Welsh Open. I got nothing for it whatsoever. <laughs> yeah. Not so much. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Baron Vladimir and people watch and play it could be unnerving, yeah. And it's a, and it's a playoff match, exactly. Yeah, exactly, Cyber Knight. It's a playoff match and that's it. It's uh, it's absolutely fair that there's nerves in there. You have footballers getting paid hundred grand a week who get nerves and that, don't you? So of course, of course. I, I'm almost certain that I've never played a game <laughs> where I haven't made a mistake. So yeah, yeah it's fine. Yeah, it's think... just uh, it's just what else are we gonna do? <laughs> I don't think. Yeah, I don't think anyone has made and played a game without making any. Like you know, played it perfectly. So. Hello, Andre. But you could uh, expect them to make three dices. <laughs> yes. Uh, th thank you for passing uh, Ziggy with three days to go, Andre. That make, does me a huge favour, you twat. <laughs> Doesn't at all give him three days to now pass you and then me at the same time. Get out. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Je Jellyals, Jellyals. Done it, said it better. Yeah, plenty of games without mistakes, but impossible to play perfectly. Yeah, that's that's better. That'll do. Really. That's what I meant. Yeah. <laughs> of course, we've played games without mistakes before, but <laughs> Wednesday morning, I said, Andre. Wednesday morning was when you were supposed to pass Ziggy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ain't fair. <laughs> Did you see that Adam is black when I fouled with my war dancer that was carrying the ball? Yeah. That was brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, dear. That's never happened, Rhett. Ever. Some people surf their own players. <laughs> <laughs> like their own players. Yeah, exactly, Jelly. He should have been safe in his first, shouldn't he? He should have covered the ball and everything, but, you know. Yeah, he did get a foul <laughs> appearance. <laughs> Fucking hell. I don't mean calling it. <laughs> and then he fails the dodge away. Dodge away. And give Rex his <laughs> ever. <laughs> get battered on. Holy shit. Oh my god. Fucking foul oh. appearance when it works is disgusting, isn't it? Holy <laughs> shit. Holy shit. Should have re rolled right. the uh, should have re-rolled the foul appearance maybe, eh? Yes. <laughs> but he only has but... two re-rolls. And it's finally catching up to him in the final. And all I can say about that is good. <laughs> I absolutely, right, if you were going to then make the dodge away, I would re-roll foul appearance. Yeah, but he's got two re-rolls, so he can't, and, and that's, I can't honestly, like, you know, nothing against Mike the Machine at all, his team is good, he's a good player, but I can't believe he's had two re-rolls all the way through the tournament, I can't believe he's been lucky enough to get here, you know? And it's yeah. like, you, you, you do have to be lucky, you know, it's not just the coaching and the team, you, there's obviously looks a big big factor in Blood Bowl and I can't believe he's been lucky enough to get here with only two re-rolls he didn't even use any in the first half did he until the one turn attempt um, but yeah he's finally got hammered for it basically he might have gone down to two re-rolls to get a wizard in this match so you know it's a bit it's a bit different in the final. The final's probably one of the times where having two wouldn't have been so bad because it might have been to get a wizard or, you know, they, they might have been, you know, if he'd had three, maybe his hippie would have gone down to two and then he would have dropped his reroll to get the uh, babes or whatever. But, um, yeah, this is probably the least bad time to have two rerolls in a way. 
because it might have been might have been with her it might have been you know what I'm, I can't even say a sentence <laughs> <laughs> I got it it's fine and once again got those on tentacles Mike did not get a wizard no I would have got a wizard if I was Mike I would have sucked and now he's not yep yeah that was a nice little chain away wasn't it Not taking a hit on the line, Matt. I don't know what you mean. Yeah, I don't know which one you didn't. Yes, it indeed it is Cyber Knight. It is really shit to reroll the foul appearance on the first turn of drivers, so that's it. It's just punishment for having two rerolls, isn't it? <laughs> if you if you're not gonna reroll it, blitz something that doesn't have foul appearance. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because if you ha if you can't re-roll foul appearance and then you have to make a three plus dodge, like just don't do that. <laughs> Especially after that, you should have been reminded of it, like in the first half, because it happened to you fucking twice. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. And it was just like a no skill Nurgle warrior as well, wasn't it? Just a nothing player. He didn't re-roll the dodge. No, I mean, no, no. He just took the. Uh... Just, we'll just block a rotter then, you know? Just an LO, block an LOS rotter, whatever. But then you, if you pile on, you might get uh, beasted. So maybe just don't even pile on, just just blitz a rotter and then retreat behind your lines and stuff. And I don't know, I'd really, but I'd just hate having two rerolls, so. Oh, oh, there you go, oh, double oh, skull. Oh. Gotta eat that, he's ah, got two rerolls. Into a KO. So there you go. So two two rolls that he could have re-rolled if he'd had more re-rolls. <laughs> and both hammer him. <laughs> Hello, Lisa. And what what did he... He moved his uh, gutter runner over there for some reason or another. Mm. To just get Mighty Blow punched in the face, apparently. Yeah, why not? I don't know what that was. I assume he was setting something up. Yeah. <laughs> Jaliel's keeping with the <laughs> it be the dice lord. <laughs> yeah, that's true, Jaliel. That is true. That's true. Uh, yes, Pedro. Uh, both storm vermin are out. One was Kaz early, and um, one's KO'd. He's got to eat this and then regret not making safe moves first. No, he doesn't. Oh. Now he'll re-roll it and then regret not making safe moves first. <laughs> <laughs> Still not making safe moves. Outrageous. Outrageous hippies. Yeah, Wayne Farah, honestly, I've hated it. All, every, every game that Mighty Machines played, I'm like, is, why has he only got two reruns? <laughs> and he's just, he just, you know, he's been lucky enough to get away with it and up to this point. But um, it's, it's uh, in the safe, ass, safe moves after lucky Kaz's is, is uh, happy hippies. Like, yeah, yeah. Mantra. Yeah, just be a dice lord and then, <laughs> and then you're all right. <laughs> I'm surprised I didn't move him up to here so he could have blocked the guard. I don't think I would have done that, but... I wouldn't say it wouldn't go that far, Jellyo. And still not even GG yet. Because, you know, the rats have always got a shot, haven't they? I mean, it should be 1 1, really, um, after Hippie's set up. Mike Machine really should have made that a three dice. And the, the odds were pretty good in his favour to score the one turner if he'd, if he'd done it all correctly. Like, you know, from the start of it. It was pretty good odds to just do the one turn. So it could have been 1 1, and then, you know. It's obviously looking pretty bad for him. But it's not over yet. I have no idea whether he ever had three rolls, Wayne Farah. So, three rerolls. It's distinctly possible that he started with two and never had money to buy a third one. <laughs> it does happen, doesn't it? You just I never guess. have any money because you're constantly replacing players or whatever. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. 
Maybe I shouldn't have been so critical of him. Maybe it wasn't by choice that he only had two rerolls. But I like that he gets into a scoring range there. And for example, Hippie doesn't have a stadium wow. of any kind. So it's possible that he never had any money to buy a stadium. Yeah, I guess it is. Yeah. Wow. Just dodge away from tents. Easy. Jaleel. Or uphill, uphill blitz the tents. And then. Happy days, isn't it? <laughs> Tentacles doing a thing. Good morning, little guys. I just passed the turn. Wow. That's Didn't even bother screen. trying the other two. That's how he's going to screen it. <laughs> the, old, <laughs> the old not screen it at all. Root. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point, Wayne Ferrer. <laughs> 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 Oh dear. Maybe he did have a leader throw, but I'd still have three plus a leader. Ah, he's just going to stick tentacles on the ball. Yeah. Maybe he just could never afford a third. That's, I guess that could be a thing. He could have started with two and never could never afford a third. Which is the real reason an Aryan never scums a wizard. Because <laughs> wood elves never have any fucking money. <laughs> well, he's kind of got to now, Wayne Fair, isn't he? He, 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 hit the, uh, he hit the good players in the first, in the first two ter three turns. He's got rid of all the good players. <laughs> I mean, he didn't have to blitz this one. Is he? Is he just? Is he just came to the to the uh, warrior and said, "Please punch me." Like, <laughs> <laughs> I think the the world has been uh, shrunk down to me and Gary on Jelly on, but yeah, <laughs> <laughs> close enough. He just got to go for the score, hasn't he? With a gutter, just go for the dodges through tackle. <laughs> uh, <laughs> away from tentacles. Yeah, away from strength five tenths through tackle. <laughs> Two GFIs, let's go. <laughs> let's see what else he's got, in all honesty. Three players on the beast. <laughs> Two players over here, but I guess he could lob it to He could just dodge away and then lob it to him. Yeah, dodge this one on the left through and then dodge backwards in instead of through the... The, the tackle guy. Uh, that's two dodges from tentacles, though. No, I'd just throw it from where he is. Oh, okay. Just, just lob, lob it. it. Just fucking in, lob it, in, man. Uh, Roll a six. He is, he is only in one disturbing presence, I think. Yeah. <laughs> it's just horrible, isn't it? I guess you can one dice, one dice. No, uphill, uphill without block. And then run through that, and then oh no, you, you've still got to dodge away from you still got to dodge away from tents. Oh god, <laughs> horrible! It ends your turn if you fail a dodging from tentacles. Yeah, Cybernet. Cybernet. Yeah, that's why I wouldn't even try it. Oh my god, he goes for the three dice and doesn't even fail. We roll. Oh my he rolls it. He god. Gets it. <laughs> this is outrageous. <laughs> that was disgusting. Now he goes through the middle, I guess. Three plus, yeah. two plus. Yep, he's off. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking madman. Yeah, now he can scream a little bit with this guy, can't he? And he's GFIing. Wow. He can't get hit by the tackle guy now. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That was pretty mad. Yeah. 
Yeah, it doesn't doesn't re-roll the <laughs> foul appearance. But uh, absolutely will roll a three red dice. <laughs> oh, and then gets triple ones for his next dice. <laughs> See, you know, See if he'd uh, scored the one turn, maybe. then this actually could be for the win. Yep. Yep. Crazy, isn't it? As, as crazy as the dice have been for Hippie, just smashed him to pieces. Hasn't lost anything of his own. And, uh, yeah. That could really have been a win for Mike there. Ooh, he, he can yeah. double GFI the beast onto the ball. Ooh. I mean, it still can be a win for Mike here. Another that, that fucking is is Kaz dice would be mad, haven't they? Yeah. Even for like Claw Mighty Blow or Mighty Blow, because Claw hasn't done much of anything. Yeah. It's a lot of Kazes. Ooh. Hey. Oh, he can't use his last reroll. Hey. Oh, it's KO'd. <gasps> KO'd his ball carrier. Brutal. Hippie paying the price for a. Uh... For going out with two rerolls, but I mean he had to because he—I don't think he could have won against a wizard. That was—that was my hot take before the match, was the. But he it, did that, and he—he he didn't move the tackler over. No, of course not. No, it's hippie. he just punched things. <laughs> so he could—he could just stall this and and just let a rotter hit him. Yeah, he could do. In fact, he could tag the closest rotter with this gutter runner. Yep. <laughs> Which has got diamond tackle and everything. Or he could rule a double one as well. <laughs> there we go. He is. <laughs> That's exactly what he's doing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it's good with the sidestep. So if he gets pushed, he can just score, can't he, as well? So now Hippie's only going to have three turns to score. And uh, tagged them both, <laughs> and he might not even have his ball carrier to do it. <laughs> I'm not certain I like tagging them both because he's in reach of the uh, tackle guy. He could have yeah. tagged him on the outside edge. Yeah. Yeah. Good point. Good point. Maybe a maybe a fuck up by Mike the Machine there. Three, four, five, six. And he doesn't dodge this uh, lying down rat who wasn't on tentacles. Could have dodged him round to tag the tackle guy, maybe? Yeah, yeah, maybe. Yep, he is in range of the tackle. And the tackle gets him. Might pile on here. Yep. Yeah. Oh, God. Fair enough, isn't it? Fair enough. The KO is not good enough when he's got two babes. So. Yeah, but he gets it. <laughs> That's yeah. the old God part. <laughs> oh, yeah. Of course he does. It's hippie. <laughs> Power pile on. <laughs> I think I'd have done two GFIs with that with that guy to put him in the end zone. Yeah, force him to come round. Yeah. Okay, it's only a three plus. You know, it's only an extra two plus, but still. He's got a spare rot there. It's not like it would have mattered if he tripped and died even. Yeah, exactly, yeah. yeah. His three gutters gone, yeah. <laughs> yeah, three gutters have been cast. Uh, pretty good. Pretty good dice for Hippie. <laughs> a little bit, yeah. <laughs> Papa Nasty watches this. He's going to be well pissed that I'm just laughing at good dice against Skaven after I wrecked him. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
No, I don't think I don't think a blitz is going to help this game much, is there? There's four, five, six, seven, eight players. No, they're probably just going to want to try and stop the score if they can. You just got to hope that the KO stays out and that you can stop with eight players. You might be able to stop him with eight players if he doesn't have his um, if he doesn't get the ball carrier back. Even if he gets it back, three, you know, only three turns. Well, we can't really call this setup bad, can we, uh, Jelly? It was bad in most of our opinions, but it was certainly very conservative, wasn't it? Probably, probably was wrong. <laughs> we could just one in nine you anyway. We lose. could, yeah. We could. Because he stuck that last gutter in the wrong place. I'm still going to maintain that. Got cast for it. Yeah, but then on the other hand, if he'd put him in the other place, then uh, maybe the ball carry gets sacked and he doesn't draw, you know? So. I think they had the, the, if he tagged the first one, the other one had to make GFIs and a 30% pow. And then the other gutter runner was available for recovery. He might have done it though, mightn't he? And then he might have not ended up scoring. So, you know, it's all it's all six and two threes, isn't it? There was certainly a benefit for doing that, but uh, he paid the ultimate price. <laughs> oh yeah, the ball carrier's back. Yep. And he's got eight men's to try and stop three turn touchdown. end zone kick might work <laughs> just pray for an end zone kick yeah he's got, he's got a kick hasn't he on the gutter that's left a kick gutter runner <laughs> yes <laughs> reminiscent of uh, sage's kick ward answer that <laughs> eight, eight rats is usually a lot jelly because it's normally like four gutters a storm vermin and a couple of shitters but this is all shitters and a gutter runner and a storm <laughs> He's got two good rats. Yeah, and he's getting the hits on as well, so it's, it's unlikely to remain eight. <laughs> Isn't it? But yeah, it's still he's still got some players. He can still stop them. The kick's going to be good for the stop and the three-turner. Definitely can get a guaranteed deep kick, can't he? Riot. Oh, <laughs> hit me the dice, Lord. <laughs> the ball's right next to him, and he gets an extra turn. <laughs> Just taking a piss now. <laughs> Outrageous. Have an extra turn, and uh, feel free to have the ball right next to you. Kick, kick doing a load of good there. Outrageous. Uh, you missed a lot, yes, Robert. <laughs> Even kick is getting fired. You should be. Well, I said they're unlikely to stay on eight. He's just rolling gym cars at the moment, isn't he? <laughs> Moves that guy into a position where he could have assisted and made it three dice after he's made a two dice block. That's horrible from Hippie. <laughs> isn't it? Literally horrible play. But a pair of them have been doing that. Yeah, that is that is really terrible. Wow, this is a gym power turn, this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hasn't knocked a fucking rat down yet. <laughs> Great. Hey. And get the cast. <laughs> <laughs> you, this. Of course, it's a straight cast. Hey. hey! And gets one Look. of his own off. <laughs> Removed one of his own. <laughs> I was about to ask what the fuck was up with that rotter's name, but then I remembered that it's probably just someone hippie killed. So. Yeah, probably. It's in Cyrillic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this isn't looking good for like, the machine, is it? But that's no. the thing, you, you know, if he, if he stops the score somehow, 
then uh, yeah, if he wins the toss, he can just win in overtime, can't he? It's not, still it wouldn't be easy to win in overtime, but he, you know, he'd have a chance in overtime. Yeah, Nurgle is surprisingly hard to do that against because of disturbing presence. Yeah, but he would have a you shot. can't you can't just do a, like an, a handoff on the <laughs> on the LOS. I mean, to be fair, he's only got one gutter, so he can't do a handoff anyway. Really. <laughs> 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 like, yeah, it's kind of it <laughs> it's odd. <laughs> it wouldn't have much chance against against anybody, but yeah, Nurgle are are good for games where you should be winning. Like Nurgle are really good at locking out games you should be winning anyway. And obviously, the dice have been such that you should be winning this. So now, Nurgle are a better team than Chaos in this situation now. Hey, dodge from tentacles and made the dodge. Yeah, pretty good. Pretty good line rat. Stellar line rat there. It does not rat 76, only tackles on. It should, though. It would make the skill better. Yeah, yeah, it should. I agree. We'd have more of that, uh, you know, rock, paper, scissors thing, because then, like, pro elves would be pretty good against Nurgle randomly. Yeah. Three dice paying off. Pylon, you wimp. <laughs> Are you a man or a mouse hippie? Pylon! <laughs> <laughs> ah, risky activation there, wasn't it? Not really, but... <laughs> Gets him. Gets yep. him in. <laughs> in the, yeah. In the thing. Oh, man. Well, he's getting, he's getting claw-pommed. <laughs> He certainly is on two dice. <laughs> He's not getting piled. <laughs> Just fuck off. Wow, he's re rolled it and got the knockdown. Last re roll. On a random block. Well, to be fair, he was, he was ticking up his whole team, wasn't he, on that? Yeah, yeah. Wow. Got a KO, but still. That, yeah, was, that was pretty funny, too. I mean, he really didn't want four players stuck on it, did he? So. No, absolutely not. <laughs> Especially the gutter runner, because the gutter runner is his last best chance of yes. stopping this sport. Yeah, if you can base the ball. <laughs> <laughs> that dirt base base base. <laughs> it's, a, it's a slim possibility, Jellyel. You can base the ball and then pray for three pushes. Yep. Yeah, foul appearance is so fucking annoying when it works. Holy shit. You have to check the foul appearance stats after. Yeah. <laughs> He's done pretty well out of it. Yeah, he has incredibly well. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It means you'll never take it because the opportunity cost is too high, and you know that's the thing, isn't it? If you could, if you could swap the five foul appearance that Nurgle start with for five mighty blow, well, four mighty blow and a claw, you totally would, wouldn't you? <laughs> or, or five guard. <laughs> so foul appearance is a pretty shit skill, but when it's for free, it can be pretty damn good. And yes, it's worthless when it doesn't work, isn't it? I would like to point out that Top Skaven, I've mentioned him numerous times, has a foul appearance gutter runner. Wow. I think and I'm it didn't go work chaw. at all. Yeah, I think I'm going to go Chaff's little baz, but I might go Nurgle. <laughs> it's just, the problem with Nurgle is it's torture at low TV, isn't it? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, 
Jim is like trying to pretend that it's random, but he's heard that the rest of us are playing pro elves and has decided to randomly play chores. <laughs> <laughs> no, honestly. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Nothing after that's going to be true. No, honestly, to be to be fair, go and go, this would be the best season to go, Nurgle. Oh, when, when you're oh, just going to oh, beat shitty oh, pro elves, that'd be brilliant, wouldn't it? But um, no, I just thought you know it's the it's coming up to the the twentieth. I'll have been partnered for twenty three months, so people will be getting the two year resubs on the twentieth. So I thought to celebrate, I would try and qualify with Chaos Dwarf, seeing as you know. They're one of my favourite races, and I, I, I've done crap with them on Blood Bowl too, so I'd like to rectify that. So that, that was the genuine reason. Nothing to do with the Pro Elves, honestly. And there we go. Yep. Hip Hippie is the champion. Hippie is the champ. It was shyish Fago. <laughs> I thought that was stylish Fago. Which <laughs> <laughs> would have been just as good. I wonder if Hippie named that. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to ask him. Well, congratulations, Bleeding Hippie. Commiserations, Mike the Machine. Hippie wins 500 euros. Yes, congratulations. <laughs> That's just a default name. Shyish Fago. <laughs> Shyish Fago. Jesus. <laughs> what a fantastic name. Um... Yeah, yeah. What a game, eh? What, what? We've got a look at the. We've got a look at the. Uh, the D sixes from this game in here. Foul appearance, fifty fifty on foul appearances. <laughs> <laughs> Seems legit. <laughs> <laughs> wow, <laughs> that's brutal. <laughs> that's really brutal, isn't it? But you failed know, tentacles ten times. But to be fair, a lot of those were like two. Strength two guys. Yeah, yeah, that's probably about that's probably about right, isn't it? And the dodges were probably there were some three pluses. The dodges probably not too bad. The wake ups were good. The go for it's were good. Um, but yeah, the foul appearance was an absolute killer. Absolute killer for him. Nineteen, fourteen, fifteen. Yeah. Uh, twenty six, thirty eight, twenty twenty eight. So a very very pushy game from Hippie. It was that turn, wasn't it? It was that turn. He's dropped a million pushes. 50-50 go for it for Hippie. <laughs> oh, oh, yes. Hippie. By any chance, mate, did you not notice that that rat had shadowing? <laughs> yeah, you must have. You must have not realised the rat had shadowing, right? Surely, Hippie. Surely. <laughs> Surely you didn't realise... Uh... Um, that he had shadowing, but yeah. <laughs> yes, congrats. You noticed it. Wow. What? Wow. You dodged away <laughs> from a gutter runner with shadowing <laughs> and diving tackle <laughs> on purpose with the ball carrier. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> That's worse. Mad, That's worse. Now you know that it was there. You should have lost instantly. <laughs> yeah, it's only a three plus, but he could have shot. It's a one it. in nine dodge, but you should have been making it quite a few times. Yeah, I think I would have blitzed. You could have blitzed him though, couldn't you? You could have blitzed him with the uh, the tackle ponger. I was shocked that you didn't. And I thought, what? You're just going to hope for a pow then? And then didn't even hit him. Didn't even hit him with a rod. He had two just heads, went, Mike. Just went. Let's go. Let's go try and dodge away from him. I didn't. I didn't. Uh, I didn't enjoy. <laughs> I don't think that was was the right play, dodging away from the shadowing diamond tackle. But worked out, didn't it? Well, I think the shadowing. Yeah, I think the shadowing is. Uh, yeah, I didn't. I didn't like it with shadowing on purpose. I think without the shadowing. I think the one in nine to fail was something that he kind of, you know, it's something you can make the judgment call. It's something you have to do. 
because then you can get the ball safe and you know you freeze up the blitz and everything and he, you know freeze up the assist as Jelly said he could put the assist in but you know you've got to weigh up the cost of that haven't you you know like and and so there was a game I think it was last season where somebody made a one in nine dodge with a ghoul wasn't it um and yeah it was uh, a dant yeah and I think that was fair enough because he just couldn't have made the ball safe without going for that um but yeah, yeah. Without without shadowing, I think the dodge was fine. Um, <laughs> but with shadowing, absolutely had to blitz that that gutter for sure, hundred percent, hundred percent. I would have blitzed him anyway, even if he didn't have shadowing. But um, to be honest, but yeah, the shadowing was the icing on the cake, wasn't it? That was that was something else. <laughs> <laughs> but, but yeah, anyway, right. It's already gone too on too on too long. Congratulations, hippie. Commiserations, Michael Machine. Thank you for the co-cast, Artemis Black. And if you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic. <laughs>